Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm sorry about the glare in my glasses. I'm sitting in my dining room. I just wanted to go over uh, today's meeting. It was really informative with some tips for Thanksgiving. So first up, um, she had this board that she wrote on paper and she had three things written. And it says, before I fill in the blank, will, uh, while I, and then after I. So you had to fill in the blanks. So in other words, and this was trying to get the three things in every day that can earn you extra points for your dailies or for your weekly. So in other words, before I fill in the blank, so let's just use this as a reference. Before I make my coffee in the morning, I'm going to drink a 16 ounce bottle of water. So before I blank, I will. So this is making you accountable for doing your exercise, drinking your water, and eating your vegetables. So what I do, which is the while, so while I am shopping in the supermarket, I always bring a water with me, because now on the shopping carts, they have this little thing, a cup holder, and I always have a case of water in my car in the back. So when I grab my recyclable bags, I grab a water, put it in my cart. I always make sure I get a cart that has the the, uh, <clears throat> the cup holder. So while I am shopping in the store, I will drink a bottle of water. So it becomes habit. The minute you go to grab your bags from the back, I grab a water, put it in my cart while I'm shopping and scanning, which takes forever. If you have the app and you scan everything in the store, there's one bottle of water gone. And right in the store, if I'm done drinking it, I put the plus sign and there goes my water. So, and I've been doing this even before the new uh, personal points plan. Also, all right, now after, after I, she used an, um, uh, what this gentleman did. So after he would use the bathroom, he would drop on the floor and do four push-ups. So his, after I use the restroom, he's going to do four or five push-ups. And you don't want to start with anything too elaborate. Like, oh, I'm going to do 20 push-ups. No, you start out small. You want your goals to be small so that you can actually do them. If you start out with something too big and you're not able to do it, then you get discouraged and then you don't do it at all. So that's the key. Start small. Maybe you have a little eight ounce cup that, that you like to drink from. Bring that to the supermarket with you or fill it up. At night, put it on your nightstand in your bedroom, and then when you wake up, drink that water before you have your coffee. And then before you go to bed, drink another eight ounces. Now that's one full cup, you know, that's one 16 ounce serving. Then you can hit that button at the end of the night. But they want you to hold yourself accountable. So when you set little goals like that, they're very attainable and you stick with them and then it becomes habit and that's what you want. This other woman also said that she leaves like broccoli and carrot sticks and um, some celery sticks on her counter. She was so used to having snacks on her kitchen counter that every time she went in the kitchen, 
it's, it's like habit. You just grab for a snack. When you leave healthy vegetables out, and say if you, if you put two cups of vegetables, and at, all during the day, when you're going in the kitchen, you, you grab it and eat it. Once that plate's gone, there's two cups of vegetables that you ate that weren't even incorporated into a meal, and you're getting two extra points for that. And she loves that idea, especially because she used to leave cere cereal boxes on the counter. And every time she would go in, she would grab a, a handful of cereal. So, and that's the number one thing that people cheat on, believe it or not, is cereal. It is proven, the woman said, that if you put your cereal boxes away, you are so much more, you know, able to be successful during the week. Because a lot of people love cereal, no matter what kind it is, and they always find themselves reaching for it. So put that, uh, the junk food, the chips, the cereal, all of that, put it away. Put it in the cabinet so that you don't see it. If you don't see it, you're more likely not to eat it. And put healthy, put Keep fruit on the counter, even though fruit won't gain you an extra point for a cup. My dog's crying. He's looking for his toy. Chevy, knock it off. Just put out a, a, a tray with some vegetables on it, a plate. And you'll see yourself, and you can put, leave out some hummus with it. You can leave out um, your favorite dip with it. If you feel you, you just can't eat a raw vegetable. The woman that does that, she actually puts her broccoli into the air fryer for about two to three minutes with some um, Mrs. Dash seasoning. She said it's delicious. And it takes that raw bite out of it, but yet it's not cooked, it's still crunchy. So that's a good idea as well. You could just throw some sea salt in it just to give it that little flavor. And it's a great way to get your vegetables and it's a great way to Start forming really healthy habits. Now, as far as Thanksgiving, she said she had a couple of tips. So her number one tip was don't wear pants that are stretchy and that you're comfortable in after you're done eating a meal. You want pants that zip up, that button, that as soon as you start getting filled, you could feel it. And before I could take the picture... She had on stretchy pants, and she put four rolls of toilet paper in the stretchy pants. It actually held, going around her, four rolls of toilet paper. And then by the time I went to take the picture of her with the four rolls of paper towels, two had fall out, fallen out, and she pulled the other two out, and they dropped to the ground. So we thought that was very interesting because... That's a lot of space in those pants that, um, you know, that you, if you keep eating, even though you're full, it, you're not going to feel it because <laughs> your pants are stretching along with your stomach. And um, another tip she had was, oh, she actually took the stretchy pants off and had regular pants underneath with a zipper. So we thought that was really cute. She's very funny, this, this, um, this teacher this spokeswoman over at the, the Weight Watchers. She's, she's really nice. I like her. Her name is Stephanie. So, oh, good. He got his toy. The next thing she said is, what are you going to do about leftovers? A lot of people said um, they throw them out, which I think it's a sin to throw out food. Um, if you're hosting and you have a lot of family coming over, make sure you have those, um, you know, containers to go containers. You can get them at Pi City. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, wherever you want to pick them up. Just make sure you have them, especially with the desserts that you, all your guests here, what do you, whatever you want, take, let them take whatever they want. Whatever's left over, you can either freeze and put it in 
you know, freezer containers and mark on it. Make sure it's the correct portions. Mark on it how many points and you can eat it at a later time. Or um, you just throw it away, like I said, which I think is a sin to waste food. So that was a couple of tips about Thanksgiving that she talked about that I thought were interesting. Um, also, uh, she wanted to know what, what we're doing more to exercise. So we know about drinking the water, which you only get one point added to your dailies, whether you drink 60 ounces or 120 ounces, but try to get your six, 60 ounces in a day. This one woman said she could go days, days without drinking a bottle of water. She drinks coffee all day, then she'll switch to tea and whatever. But, and she said she can go days without, without drinking any water. Like I drink, that's all I really drink. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. We don't like orange juice. It's too acidy for me. I never bought buy orange juice. I don't drink soda. So to not be able to drink water for days is like uh, unconceivable to me. But it, some people it happens. So try to, she, she just wants, she wants you to do the healthy habits with, with exercise. And now there's on the app, I forget what it's called. It, uh, sounds like Uber, but it's not OB or something. You'll see it if you have the app. It's free. You can just click on that. If you scroll down the first page of your app, I'll insert a picture over here. What it looks like, it's a woman holding up a barbell. If you click on that, um, it shows you all different workouts. Um, very light workouts, moderate, advanced, and it shows you how many minutes. Everything from chair exercises to, to weights to yoga to... Um, cardio in place. So there's really a lot. So sh try to put it in your mind. Okay. When I get home from work, before I do anything, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to do 10 minutes of exercise. Say if you have like a, a, a exercise machine, a bicycle in your house, or if you have um, elliptical, however you say that machine, whatever you have. It's, I know I had one. I got rid of it. It was in my bedroom and I was using it to throw clothes on. The same thing with my mother. My mother has a bicycle. Oh yeah, I'm going to do it every day. I'm going to do it every day. And it's housing uh, her bathrobes. So, so what you want to do is write, write it down and do it every, and keep yourself, hold yourself accountable and do it. All right, every day I get home from work, I'm going to get on the bicycle and I'm going to do five minutes. Or if you have a favorite show that you watch every single day, like I do, I watch General Hospital every single day. I've been watching it since I'm like 14, 15 years old. Never missed an episode. I'm not joking. Even when I was working, I would, uh, back in the day with the VCR <laughs> recording it. Now, the, DV, the DVR, I record it if I'm not home when it comes on. But every single day I watch General Hospital. So, I'm going to do a chair exercise, whether it's getting up, sitting down, getting up. I have to go out and buy myself weights, which I'm going to do this weekend. So, during my General Hospital, where I know I'm sitting and watching my show, I'm just gonna, and, and you don't have to say, all right, I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. I'm going to do it for 15 minutes. Just do it until you can't do it anymore. If, if it's three minutes, Hey, that's three minutes more of exercise than you had the day before. So even if it's just, um, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to sit on the machine. Just get yourself in the habit of getting on a machine or getting onto a chair or whatever whatever device you have make it a habit that automatically in your brain all right general hospitals on and you go right to your machine 
it, and start out very slow. Start out two, three minutes a day. You'll see as, as weeks go by, you gradually build it up. So then it's five minutes, then it's seven minutes. Before you know it, you're doing 30 minutes a day that you never thought you could do. So that was a good tip. Also, um, for Thanksgiving, another good tip is, like, when I used to cook things, I'm cooking, I'm hosting this year. But when I used to make all my vegetables and everything, I would add the butter, the salt, the pepper, whatever, into the dish, the serving dish, so that people didn't have to do that. Now, when you do your vegetables... Make sure you don't put any butter on them. You can put salt and pepper, whatever spices you want. But keep the butter on the table so people can add their own. This way you're not eating any butter with all of your vegetables. I have the, I cannot believe it's not butter spray. So that will be on my table. And this is another good tip. And I learned this from my cousin Kelly. She always leaves her butter out on, on her countertop. In the butter dish. And I do too. I hate trying to butter something with butter that just came out of the refrigerator. It's impossible. Butter does not go bad if it's left out. The delis leave it out. When I worked in the delis, the restaurants, they leave it out to butter their rolls in the morning. Just leave your butter out on the counter this way, when you bring it to the table, people don't have a hard time. Try And plus, it melts so much faster on the vegetables. So that's a tip. Just leave your butter out. If you're going to use butter, don't take it from the refrigerator. I always leave mine out. The minute this, the one stick is gone in my butter dish, I wash the whole thing, put another one, and it's left out. So all of your vegetables that you're making for Thanksgiving, don't add any butter to it. If you want, you can go out and get yourself. I cannot believe it's not butter spray. And up to, I, it's zero points. It does taste like butter to me. I know a lot of people don't like all that um, added stuff that's in it. You know, the fake stuff. But you know what? I don't use it all the time. Once in a blue moon. So for Thanksgiving, if you want that on your string beans, on your broccoli, with a little bit of salt and pepper... It's fine. Put it on the table with next to the butter. Whoever wants to use it. If other people are watching their uh, bad fat intake, they can use it as well. So, yeah, don't, don't put butter on your vegetables. Uh, this week, we got this recipe. Carrot cake cookies, which look delicious. I might... Does it say cake? Yeah, carrot cake cookies, which really look good. And then it is, um, it says roughly around three points. So, now in the cookbook, the new cookbook that came out with the QR code that you just scan, and it lets you know how many points the recipe is for you. She said on some of the recipes, which is good if you're a meal planner, if you prep your meals, excuse me, for the whole week. Under the recipe, in the book, if you have the book, if, in case you didn't know this, it'll say um, batch, batch recipe. And then it'll tell you what other page to turn to in the recipe book. So say this was a, say this was a batch recipe. And it said, uh, turn to page 20. I would turn to page 20. And then that page would say batch recipe, and it would refer back to this one. Now, what that means is that both recipes have exactly, exactly the same ingredients. So while you're making this, and you have all the ingredients out, you might as well make this. You're dirtying your kitchen once. You're getting two meals out of the same exact ingredients. And... If you're meal prepping, say you, you want this for three days and this for three days. So you're only in the kitchen cooking once and getting two meals, different meals with the exact same ingredients. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, 
Last week was the first week I went, and they only had two or three recipe books left, and they got purchased very quickly. And they didn't have any this week. So hopefully next week um, they'll have it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to purchase the book because I want to make a couple recipes from it. And because they said the recipes are fantastic. And what's nice about it is once once you scan your, your code, it automatically does the points for the plan that you're on, for your personalized plan. So these could be three points for me, but eight points for someone else. So it's personalized to your plan, which I think is great. And then it'll show approximately... So I guess they do the spectrum of the, the, uh, of the points. So it'll say um, zero to eight points. So depending, or three to eight, or four to two, whatever it is. Depending on your plan, that's the range of the points that that recipe will be. So, yeah, so that was the meeting. I'm very happy that I lost 3.8. I was very excited and shocked. So, so far, I'm very satisfied on this plan. Um, whatever I eat, I'm um, just incorporating a lot, a lot of vegetables. Like my breakfast, I put the spinach. Like in my eggs, I put the, the peppers, the onions, you could do omelets like that with broccoli and tomato, whatever you like. So it's very filling. Uh, the vegetables have a lot of fiber, a lot of minerals, a lot of um, vitamins. So it's not only filling for you, it's be very beneficial. So just try to incorporate more water, more exercise, and more vegetables daily. And you'll see... Overall, you're going to be healthier and you're going to be dropping weight. So that was the main focus of today's uh, today's meeting. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my little rundown. I tried, like I, I forgot to bring my notebook today and write everything down. I was like, damn, as soon as I walked in, I said, oh, shoot my notebook. So to try to remember everything is hard for me. And I don't express things that well, you know, coming from somebody else. Like, I wish I could just videotape her and post that as a video. I wonder if she would let me. I'm going to ask her because I could just, you know, maybe not the whole entire meeting. It's an hour long. Who's going to watch that? But um, what do you call it? If, you know, I'll say I have a YouTube channel and my viewers, you know, they, they, they don't have meetings in their area. Or they're just signed up for the app. I was wondering if I can videotape some of your your meetings and, and put it in with my weekly Friday video. Would that be something that I'd be allowed to do? Who knows? It might be against Weight Watchers policy. But I will ask her. And um, she wanted to know how many people were coming to the meeting next Friday. Being it's after Thanksgiving. And she laughed. She said, yeah, this is an early meeting. It's 10 o'clock because they have earlier meetings. They have a meeting, I think, on Wednesdays at 6.30 in the morning. I'm not getting up at 6.30 in the morning to go to Weight Watchers. That's for damn sure. I mean, I'm up anyhow, but I'm making my husband his breakfast, his coffee, uh, and I'm just not going out that early. And she was laughing. She goes, yeah, I wonder how many people are going to show up on Friday, next Friday. She goes, because I'm still here. We're open. She goes, I understand everybody's going to eat. You're probably not going to track, which you, tr you should really try to track everything next Thursday. Um, and especially if you track all week long and you have four extra points rolling over from every day, um, you could build up a nice weekly and eat your pumpkin pie, eat your dessert, have that stuffing, have the gravy with the mashed potatoes, you know, so it's doable. But she said she has to laugh because when everybody comes to a meeting, they're starving they're dying of thirst because you don't want to drink no water or eat nothing before your meeting because it's still in your stomach and it's going to show up on the scale. So everybody was laughing. I'm like, yeah, that's true. I, I had one, like a couple of sips of water this morning. That was it. And then I went to the meeting and 
as soon as I got off the scale, what did I do? I guzzled a whole bottle of water. So she's right in that respect. So she was just wondering how many people are going to show up next uh, Friday because she said all that food is probably still going to be in your stomach and hasn't exit, exited yet. So that'll be funny to see how many people are actually there tomorrow, uh, next Friday. I know I'm going. So yeah, so that was the little rundown. I hope everybody has a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. And um, if you're new here, please hit the subscription button. Please hit the notification bell. And if you like these little, you know, actually it's 25 minutes long already. It's kind of long. Um, if you like these little synapses of uh, the meetings, if you're not able to go, just let me know so I know to continue doing them. You know, if people are like, oh, I'm, I'm not watching her. I don't care. I'm just tracking my points. Then, you know, then it's, I'm not going to have anybody watching while I do this type of, of video. So just let me know in the comments down below. I do read everybody's comments. I might not be able to answer to everybody all the time, but I'll usually give you a heart. Then you'll know I read your, I read your, um, your comment. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys that do watch and do comment. So just give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.